Hi Virgos, welcome back to the channel. This is Kelly from House of Virgo. So we are going to do your new moon reading. This will be from October 25th through November 1st. You will be experiencing, there's a partial solar eclipse happening on the 25th, two degrees Scorpio. So it's just getting into Scorpio at 3.49 a.m. Pacific time, 6.49 a.m. <clears throat> okay, so we're going to take a look at what the moon has to say for you with this new moon. There's a new start coming, um, but you're being asked to work through your fears during this time period. Expect powerful change with this new moon eclipse. Okay, um, so working through your fears with a new moon in Scorpio, that is definitely an energy of things that are hidden that will come to light a little bit throughout this period this week going forward for you so I feel like it's really important for you to pay attention you might have fears coming up or you might already recognize what those fears are okay and so at this time period you're being asked to work through them okay um, when the fear comes up kind of like makes me feel like when you're standing in the ocean and a wave is coming towards you um, some people like to dive into that wave to tackle it head-on some people just kind of freeze and just let it pass through them and as you know the wave comes and it it just kind of lifts you up a little bit elevates you a little and then it, it goes away so whatever your fears are during this time you're being asked to work through them go let the wave pass through you go through the fear don't run away from the, the fear um, don't fight the fear just allow it to pass through you and you'll you, you'll begin to see that you will gain power and control over your fears okay um, and that's what I'm hearing. Expect powerful change when you take part in this energy of working through your fears. Okay, so let's get into the rest of your reading. We're going to take a look as I do the moon readings. I'm not going to do singles tonight. Um, I feel like the past few days have been pretty much singles. So you can go back and check those readings out. Um, but yeah, let's take a look and see what is behind you at this time, Virgo. Um, so if you're new, do hit that like, share, and subscribe button. And uh, if you want to get a personal reading, there's a link under the description box below this video. Um, I've also added links to my personal website and uh, my Gumroad site if you would like to get extended readings. Okay, hello everyone in the chat. Hope you guys are doing well. I hope everyone had a great weekend. Okay, Virgo. Virgo Sun, Moon, Rising, or Venus. What is behind Virgo at this time? Okay three of pentacles okay collaboration friendship teamwork skill quality craftsmanship so it feels to me like you're pretty solid um, maybe as far as work goes it looks like you've accomplished some huge tasks um, you've been communicative with other people and this feels to me like even on the job front or other things you even if you have not attained things yet in your life it looks like everything around you is is somewhat stabilized at this point and I don't feel like you're going to really have anything to worry about so much I feel like you know where you're stand where you stand your feet are firmly placed on the ground um, and now you're just layering and increasing and building in your life here okay so it looks like where you're coming from is a very good stable place and balancing things out um, you're definitely on your way to the four of pentacles which is about structure and long-term security so I feel like you're your, what's behind you is you've built what you're building you've got more than a foundation built in your life and it looks like you're just layering brick upon brick upon brick as you keep building okay let's take a look and see what is in like what it present what is in front of you right now not what's coming ahead of you but what is like your surroundings at this time in your life 
Okay, Four of Swords. So this is an energy of being at peace. You can rest is what I hear. Like you, you don't have to, I feel like there's no need to stress at this time in all areas of your life, your love life, your career, family, things like that. I feel like what's surrounding you is a sense of peace, a sense of having the opportunity to retreat if you need to, have your solitude. Some of you might be in solitude right now or going through a recovery process. Some of you might be in recovering from a heartbreak um, and just taking time to yourself so it feels like everything around you that surrounds you is peaceable. And you can actually lay in bed a little bit longer if you want or um, you, you have this it's i feel like you have options for time out now it feels like you don't have to do anything do you know what i mean like like stuff's already been done things have already finished out you uh, you have already begun to rebuild or build your life and now you can say you know i'm gonna take half an hour instead of 15 minutes um i'm gonna take this one day off because i deserve it um you know i always say active rest is even good or just taking a time out for yourself is good and i feel like presently as you're listening to this video you can climb into bed a little bit earlier if you want you can um like i said sleep a little later you can say no to things you're you don't have to rush into anything and I feel like um, this is about you you want to have some kind of new start in your life but right now I feel like the rest and recovery is more important and that's okay you can do that you can take the break if you need that break the universe is um, providing the opportunities for you presently to take those little breaks that you need you don't have to do everything is what I'm hearing. They're actually saying, please, please go take that break. You better, you have to take this break. You have to do it, okay? So I like it, this recovery, this renewal, this recharging, um, getting rest, retreating is totally okay. Okay, now let's move on. What's coming before you? What is ahead? What is ahead of you for this week? Okay, Ten of Pentacles. Beautiful. Look at that. Three of Pentacles. Take a, a little setback. Not a setback because that kind of sounds like a bad thing. Um, you're building, taking a little break, and then all of a sudden the whoosh happens. The Ten of Pentacles. This feels like all long-term security and stability for you. So I feel like if you don't take your break that you need this week, whatever it might be, or just dip out a little bit, you're going to go from the three to maybe the four, just to maybe the five. But if you take this break, you're going to go from the three to the 10. And we're also have three, one, oh, three, four, one, zero. Um, so I feel like for you, this is a necessary change. And this is also... I feel like a time for you to take that break and work on or work through those fears that you might be dealing with at this time, whatever's going on. Working through those fears, taking that rest time to do that will bring powerful change. And look how you go from the Three of Pentacles to the Ten. And obviously the Ten of Pentacles can always, um, like getting yourself, it, it almost feels like a career reading, but it's a new moon reading. So this ten of pentacles a new moon is always about a new beginning that ten of pentacles makes me feel like you're leaving some kind of a legacy um stabilizing fully it's kind of like you know um you start building a house you're building you're building you're building you're building you're working you're working you're working you're working and then you stop for lunch and then you retreat, you regroup, you get your nourishment so you could get back out there and push forward even further. It feels like this new moon message for you overall is to rest during this week. Rest your mind. Focus on rest. Rest is just as important as activity. 
it's the yin and the yang they balance each other out if you go too hard you're going to burn yourself out if you don't go you'll never get anywhere so take those breaks in between so what's coming to you is what you're aiming for okay that's up ahead it's ahead of you it's there it's not a marathon i'm sorry it's not a sprint it's a marathon don't sprint the whole way or you will collapse before you get there take your time pace yourself one little bit at a time whatever that is in your life whether that's in love whether that is in your career um whatever in money whatever energy is playing out in your life during this new moon phase Whatever your fear, some of you just might have a fear of stopping. You might have a fear of taking a break. You might have a fear of cutting out. Why? In love, you might have a fear if you leave, someone will forget you. You might have a fear that if you just stop talking to someone or messaging or in, as far as love relationships go, that that person's going to be gone. Not necessarily. Not necessarily. Universe is saying to stop. To stop at this time rest self-love self-care focus on you at this time okay so what are your obstacles virgo what are the obstacles that will come before you this week okay give a lot of pentacle energy okay the obstacles the six of pentacles the obstacle is um <laughs> giving and receiving hmm <clears throat> some of you want to give 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 put your all into it but if you're always giving then you never have your hands open to receive and i feel like spirit is trying to tell you stop giving all the time to something take a break and let universe give to you let other people give to you um for some of you, it's like, I got to quit this job. I keep putting in overtime and all this effort and all this work, and I'm not getting anything back. Some of you may need to say, I've got another job, or I'm going, I'm looking for another job because I'm not getting any reciprocity here, okay? So the obstacle could be, it, it might be a little unbalanced. Some of you might be giving too much. Some of you might not be putting in enough effort, okay? some of you might be taking too many breaks so it really just depends if you are someone who is building and you have a goal in mind the universe is saying stop and take your breaks if you are someone who is passive and you have only gotten to stack three layers high and you're trying to get to 10 put in a little more effort add two more and then take a, a little break Okay, balance. That's the Six of Pentacles, giving and receiving. Having that balance and getting that balance is an obstacle for you. Okay, um, so focus on how to maintain that balance, how to bring, how to receive, and how to give equally. Okay, and your final Virgo, what you need to do, what needs to be done for you this week. Okay, the four of wands, beautiful. That's the balance, okay? You need to frame things out in your life, your love life, your career, work, health, all of it. The four of wands always speaks about structure, foundation. Some of you are building on a faulty foundation. Where is your foundation for self? right when we're trying to build upon a house we ha always have to lay the foundation first um, lay a foundation for yourself first so that when you are in and you connect with someone in even a relationship um, you ha for you you really can't go forward to build something unless the foundation is firm and I feel like for a lot of you this is to have um, an 11 11 a soulmate kind of a relationship but it all starts with you you have to be your own soulmate first okay what are your biggest fears i just want to ask spirit here 
because there's definitely a new start coming in your love life and in all areas of your life actually and this is going to be powerful for you but these fears seem to be blocking you so work through your fears what are what are virgo's fears well i can tell you with that scorpio moon energy the fears with scorpio are abandonment vulnerability invasion um secrets let me see control those are uh, the biggest fears so for some of you okay three of wands not being able to plan you have a, there's a fear um Some of you have a fear of not being able to travel, okay? Um, mostly it feels like not your plan's not working out. Why bother doing them? Why bother making them, okay? Um, there's a lot of threes, so I feel like there might be an issue with communication. There's a fear of communicating with someone or a fear that there won't be any communication. Let me see. What other fears do you have to work through? Oh. Okay. Well, that's Capricorn. That's a card of Capricorn. And it, it, it's just a Capricorn card. Um, it's not part of the major arcana. Some of you might have a fear of work. Some of you might have a fear of a Capricorn or you're fearing some connection you have with a Capricorn. Okay. Um, some of you, I will say, there may be a fear of fear. I'm just hearing. It's a really specific message. Let me see here. That was very specific, that Capricorn. And you also have the Five of Wands, conflict. Fearing conflict, fearing competition. All right, so there's things here for you to work through, definitely. Some of you have these fears. Um, competition, rivalry, obstacles. Some of you are just fearing that there's going to be obstacles you won't be able to overcome or issues or problems in a relationship or in, um, you know, your work situation, your health, your career. Um, I don't know. The doctor said an apple a day keeps the demons away. Good health, good mindset, uh, rest. Your worries might be making you feel stressed, like you can't get any rest. Let's see. And you also have the Eight of Pentacles. It's amazing how much Pentacle energy is in this reading. And for some of you, there's a fear also that... Um, you'll lose your desire or there will be a lost desire for commitment or that you can't keep going, okay? And I feel like these are all really just things you might be over worrying about. That's why I feel during this new moon between the 25th and November 1st, this is all about step back, Virgo. Don't make that call. Don't reach out, just rest, just relax, get into your PJs, get some downtime, get into your shows, distract yourself from your fears, your worries. Things will work out, but allow them, allow things. Um, sometimes it's just a matter of allow, allowing spirit and universe to work through those fears for you, because if you ask, you will receive, okay? So I feel like this whole week, is for you to just say to yourself, decline invitations, decline, just, I don't know. I'm just seeing, I'm seeing blankets, popcorn, and Netflix. I don't know. I'm seeing walks through the park by yourself. I'm seeing just, I don't know who needs to hear this, but it just feel like 
it just feels like you need to just chill. There is a powerful new beginning happening for you, coming up for you in November. And I feel like right now you need to just get as rest, as much rest as you can going forward. Okay. Um, let me see. Show me. You could show me specifically what this powerful change is coming in for Virgo this week. Again with the pentacles. Okay. Okay, some of you um, might be dealing with a health issue. Some of you might have financial issues coming up, okay? For those of you that have been too passive when it comes to work and your health, it's time to get on the ball and catch up, okay? Um, and for those of you who have been overdoing it, you're going to burn yourselves out. Get your rest so that you can make your gains. Okay. Yeah, look, Hercules. Some of you might just be like overdoing it at the gym. Like don't overdo it at the gym. You need to like, in, I don't know. I, I'm not exactly sure if you're like lifting weights. So you're trying to be like tough girl, tough guy. Um, if you're in that be very careful and make sure that Hercules, like you're trying to be Hercules kind of energy. Um, make sure you're taking your breaks and your rest with that. If you're going too hard um, or if you're trying, like I said, I just felt like this. You're going to burn yourself out. You're going to get to where you need to go. You're going to get to where you need to be in all areas of your life. Don't give in to the worry and the fear. Okay. Work through those things and be at peace during this time period. Recharge. You're definitely going to get to that 10 of pentacles, whatever it is, that security that you're seeking in all areas of your life. But some of you just need to slow the heck down, slow the heck down. Okay. So you have Polaris. That's the star. Beautiful wishes coming true, renewal, hope, inner clarity, miracles, having faith, being in the spotlight. Aquarius energy. So I feel like, okay, and then they're just saying, I don't know, now I'm hearing Capricorn and Aquarius. But so, listen, the light is guiding your way. Trust, have faith. I do feel like this new moon energy, a lot of power, powerful things going to happen. On a predictive standpoint, I feel like you getting that rest when throughout this week, the 25th through the 1st, when you're taking your proper rest in between your hard work and whatever effort you're putting in, and if you are putting in a little extra effort and then taking your due rest, I feel like going into November, there's going to be some kind of recognition. You're going to see the results of what you are doing and what you are not doing right? So that time period when you are not giving too much to anything, you're taking that break, retreating, going off the radar, the results are going to start showing up for you in all areas in November. But this time period, you have to like completely just back off and chill, go off the radar, do you focus on self, that all that energy is going to come back to you in a positive way, but give it time, allow it to, allow it to, build okay allow it to show because there's definitely a new start coming for you guys okay so that's going to be your new moon reading in whatever way it resonates for you i hope that that was helpful and i will see you guys back here tomorrow evening all right take care